I don't know if you can have a heart at Craig's Hall, but if there was, it'd be out of the mile of this. Looks more like a crime scene than a park, to be honest, but... That was one of the local sort of young teams that came down to visit. Maybe most people get maybe six, seven pound. They'll get their bottle of Buckfast or MD and then people sort of drift down slowly with cider and whatever else you can get your hands on, just get drunk and clap somewhere. Can't kind of believe we actually used to come down here all the time. It's stupid now that you look back to it. Craig's Hill has been traditionally viewed as an area of great deprivation within West Lothian. Young people had nothing to do, there was lots of kind of hanging around the streets, there was lots of kind of drinking, the kind of antisocial kind of behaviour. Most of it would do it for like the fun of it, because they, seem, they think they're cool, they try to like, live up to other folks' reputations, but nine times out of ten it's just stupid. Going back to 2005, something like 30% of our call volume on a Friday could be linked to youth-related antisocial behaviour. And part of the strategy was to look for diversion, look for activities that gave the children something to do in the afternoon, rather than come out of school, get changed, and go out onto the street looking for booze. The Offbeat project has been set up as an arts-based diversionary activities programme for the young people of Craigs Hill to have a new experience that they can take into other areas of their lives. We've tried a variety of art forms over the last few years. Jewellery making, stencil work, stage and screen makeup, music with the Youth Action Project. They're always encouraged to, to do anything they feel like they want to do to express themselves. We did a lot of work initially um, promoting the project, getting young folk through the door, asking them what they might want to be involved in, what they try. We, we've, we've got two vehicles, we've got our people carrier and our minibus just to make ourselves like known and with a presence with the telephone numbers on it. And then go to particular areas, it could be a park, underpass, by shops, wherever they're choosing to socialise at that point. If they don't want to engage, we're not going to hassle them. But every week the register proves that there's perhaps somebody new that pops in to give it a try. It's a good thing to do, it's a good thing to pass the time. The staff are cheery, the folk that come are close friends and it can stop people from drinking. You do quite a lot of stuff like learn how to play music, there's pool tables. It's fun because you meet like new friends. Um, today's the, the, the last session of um, five weeks and the, the, you know, the brief was to do some kind of comic book inspired stuff. The work they did last week I've taken it home and inked it up and today they're adding the colours. And the fact that they're coming back every week and coming to work with me and coming to this place in general shows that you know it's definitely doing what it's set out to do. What, the, what they, they get here is access to kind of adult relationships that are positive and there's a kind of structure to it as well. There's a kind of reliability to it which is what I think is great about this project. It's about our relationship because like it says um, who am I to take this all from you because every time we're together it feels like something new like we've been in relationships where like the boys change so like it always feels like something new so we just decided to write a song about it to help us like get through it. To take this all from you because every time and there's no right or wrong with art we really want them to reflect on their own behaviour and and how they go about making decisions about their lives. Offbeat has got a really excellent chemistry for how it works. Young people can drop in, meet their friends, and they can also take part in some really kind of creative activities. Everyone thinks it's fun and games at Offbeat because you're doing jewellery and music, but ever so often we do get someone coming in doing a talk about alcohol awareness, drug awareness, so it do actually learn something be here. What he's got to do is go find out how much each other know about drinking. So, Team A over there, has got to ask Team B a question. My name's Robert McDonald, I work with West Lothian Youth Action Project. So the day we've just done a very quick informal session on alcohol. Just to kind of show them that they do know some stuff, they just need to 
think about it sometimes. One pub measure of vodka contains more alcohol than half a pint of normal drink beer or lager. Right, folks. So the way I, I always approach it is it's always information sharing. I pass on what I know, find out how much they drink, try and help them understand how it affects them. Just letting them make their own informed choices. Before I couldn't tell you how many units were in a bottle of vodka, how many you might have drink a week, but down here that's what they'll tell you. Right, what we'd like you to do is we come over to the cones uh -huh. and walk in and write them in the figure of eight and go round and come back again. Try to walk round them without bumping into them and see how easy it is to walk. I'm Kathleen Matheson from West Lothian Drug and Alcohol Service. At clubs such as this, we come along to speak to the young people about the potential dangers around drinking. It's to get them to think while visually impaired, because if they are drunk and they're falling around, they're not actually thinking about what's going on, whereas the beer goggles give them the opportunity to not be, not be intoxicated, but to let them see the, the visual side. Whoa, it's hard to walk. It's good for young people who perhaps have been drunk or are indulging in, in drinking behaviour, but it's also quite good for maybe the younger ones, just to get them thinking about how dangerous it might be if they do. They're trying to teach you something, and like you might as well just listen to it, because like alcohol just like mucked up my life, and like now if my friends are having a drink, I'm like, no, nah, I'm staying in, I'm doing my homework. Or well, we're down here having like, fun. In the longer term, we hope it will make for a richer community and that the young people will be given a bit of a voice to, to engage with other activities and if they're interested to take up those opportunities that are there for them. In 10 years time, these 14, 15 year olds will be adults with responsibilities and then they'll see, when I was young, I was at offbeat, I wasn't out in the street vandalising the place or getting drunk and making a nuisance of myself and we'll get a complete regenerated feeling of community. Young people have huge potential, they have lots to offer and if people just had the opportunity to kind of see what they were doing, actually get to know them, they are just as sensitive, just as kind of caring, just as full of fun as you'd want anybody to be. We won £2,000 for Offbeat. We would spend it on more arts and crafts stuff. If Offbeat won £10,000, we would buy a new music equipment like CDs, stereos. Guitars, bass guitars. Might record an equipment to like make an album. Maybe go on more trips. Maybe like beaches, theme parks. I think I would like the staff's wages raised because they're doing a really good job at the moment. We would probably spend on getting the place done up. A new snooker table and a TV. In general, more equipment because it is actual benefit in the people around this area. So, vote for us. Vote for us. So please vote for us. Vote for us! Vote for us. Yay!